So I'm over here with Bud Dean 14, Jackal Gold Kick, and Sonya the Scene Girl. Yo, everybody, what's up, guys? It's Bud here. And I'm here on Speardo 21's channel, here from a part of a climb video with Speardo 21, Jackal Gold Kick, and Sonya the Scene Girl. And this will be a video on giving our thoughts on Akon. Akon's an R&B singer and it's very talented. So I'm here to get my thoughts on Akon overall. What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick and I'm here with Speardo21, Bud Dean 14 and Sonya. And we're gonna be doing a video collaboration giving our thoughts on the music artist Akon. Okay, so me, Speardo21, Jackal Gold Kick and Bud Dean 14 are gonna give my thoughts on uh, Akon, on the singer Akon. So Spear Dude is going to start his part to this collab video off by saying that he respects Akon. And what's one of the reasons why he respects Akon? Can y'all take a damn guess? Can y'all take a damn guess? Oh shit, y'all have no guesses? Well, damn. Well, it's simply because he defends Michael Jackson. From the outside looking in, you're like, well, the allegation's true. Was he really into little kids? You know, no, I mean, he wasn't, man. Well, clearly, he was nowhere near that. Right. Part. You know, but, but clearly some of the stuff he did wasn't really appropriate for a, an adult That's man. That's all bullshit, Vlad. I'm not going to let you start there. I'm not. I'm, I'm, Vlad, I'm not gonna, listen, I live listen, with... Listen, listen. No, no, I'm, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish, no, 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 finish no, this. No, 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 Vlad, but Vlad, yeah. because I don't want you to finish it and the shit go all over the internet on some negative shit. You know okay. how that shit works. Okay. Mike's legacy got to be protected, bro. The okay. nigga was a real... He was a true soul, like pure hearted. Yeah. Nothing negative about him. Right. Everything that he, all the love that he came towards, peak like kids, was genuine because he wanted kids to progress and grow to be the best they could be. Yeah. You know, obviously he was a kid star, so he probably didn't get a lot of those things that normal kids get. So right. I can probably see where he was pulling from. But he genuinely just loved to see kids healthy and in a good place. And he always wanted kids to be happy. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Speardo21. And I'm going to be giving my thoughts about Akon defending Michael Jackson against Vlad saying MJ had sexual relations with children. And all I got to say about this is Akon is right because the pedophile allegations about Michael Jackson have been proven to be false many fucking times. And I showed real actual proof that they're not true in the two videos that I've made about it. But I applaud Akon for doing this, because whenever people keep spreading these lies about Michael Jackson, they're pretty much trying to tarnish MJ's legacy by doing this bullshit, and trying to make him look like something that he's not. So when it comes to Spear Dude, he thinks Akon is a very great singer. The first time he heard him was in the late 2000s, and the first three songs he heard by him were I'm so paid, beautiful, and lonely. And all three of those songs are very damn amazing. And Spear Dude loved those songs from the very first moment he heard them. And Spear Dude also has a list of some fun facts about Akon. Number 1. Akon has a unique vocal style, often using a mix of melodic singing and rapping in his music. Number 2. His voice is known for its smooth flow and energy, as well as its distinct African influence. Number 3. Akon's music is characterized by its smooth flow and rhythm, which is influenced by his background in hip-hop. Number 4. One of Akon's trademarks is his ability to sing with emotion and passion. Number 5. He puts effort into his music and has a variety of different topics to sing about. Number 6. Most R&B fans consider him as one of the greatest R&B singers of all time, and he deserves to be known as one of the greatest. Number 7. 
Akon's vocal range typically spans around two to three octaves. He is known for his smooth tenor voice and his ability to incorporate various vocal styles into his music, showing versatility in his singing. While he may not have an exceptionally wide range compared to some other singers, Akon has made a significant impact with his unique vocal tone and style. And here is a little clip from one of Spear Dude's previous videos of him listing off his top five favorite songs by Akon. Fifteen is Akon. Akon is another amazing singer and one of the best R&B singers of all time. And Spear Dude loves his voice. And that's all Spear Dude has for his part. So here is Bud Dean 14, Jackal Gold Kick, and Sonia the Scene Girl to take it away for the rest of this video. So it's gonna get started my part here, guys. All right, y'all. So my thoughts on Akon, like I said, he's a very talented singer. I think he's also a record producer. And he's been in many collaboration songs and of course his own songs. My favorite Akon album is probably his 2006 album, Convict, that was a very great album. Had a lot of good songs, like Smack That featuring Eminem, which was a very good song, one of Akon's most well-known songs. And another good song off that album is I Wanna Love You for the censored version, but if you're mentioning the explicit version, it's called I Wanna Fuck You. So yeah, I do, of course, prefer the explicit version of the song because censorship music just sucks no matter which genre it is, you know. So yeah, I Wanna Fuck You was another good one. And Blown Away with Sal's P was another awesome song off the Convict album. Of course, Never Took the Time, I think it's one of Akon's most underrated songs and it's a very good song. And I think it deserves more recognition when it comes to Akon because it's a very good song and many people can relate to it in their life. So yeah, it's definitely a relatable track that we all can relate to at some point in our life. So another good one on the album was Tired of Running. That was another underrated song. So yeah, Convict has a lot of great songs. Don't Matter was a great closing track to that album, Convict. So. Yeah, Convict was a very good album and definitely my favorite Akon album. I think his first album, Trouble, released in 2004, was good, but I think his sophomore album, Convict from 2006, is better. But yeah, some songs that I did like, though, from Trouble were, of course, Belly Dancer, that was a good one, Locked Up, the original, and also the remix version of Locked Up featuring Styles P. Lonely, of course, Lonely was a great song. Definitely another great Akon ballad you will so yeah lonely definitely an amazing song probably my favorite song on the trouble album even though those other songs i mentioned were good so yeah akon definitely a good singer his album freedom in 2008 was also really good so yeah freedom from 2008 was good it had songs like right right now na 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 that was a great one of course beautiful feature and carnal official and kobe adonis but when it comes to the beautiful song, I prefer the solo version with only Akon because I think it's the best version of the song, in my opinion. That's just me though, but I think the song overall is still good though. I'm just more on the fence of the original for 
myself as a fan of the song. So I'm so paid with Young Jeezy and Lil Wayne was good. I prefer the explicit version though of that song, even though that's not really the album version. Pretty much the album version is always censored, but there is explicit versions of I'm So Paid that you can find on YouTube. So yeah, I'm So Paid was a good song. So yeah, Akon, he's definitely a very good singer and also record producer and songwriter. So yeah, Akon, he's very talented at everything he does. But after Freedom in 2008, he kind of didn't really get anywhere success-wise and didn't really put out any albums hardly ever since then. But even in his run with three albums, Trouble in 2004, Convict in 2006, and Freedom in 2008, he had a very good run with his own music. And he's also been in collab songs before with other artists and rappers and R&B singers. So yeah, he was even originally going to be in Just Dance with Lady Gaga, but however, he was replaced by Kobe O'Donis for the official single version and album version. But I did hear the version of Just Dance with Akon as the featured artist instead of Kobe O'Donis, and Akon's feature was pretty good, so I'm not understanding why his feature was removed, but maybe there was some reasons for it, I don't remember, but yeah, the version that was with Akon was pretty good, though. So, yeah, another good one that I like that Akon was featured in is the We Taken Over song. It was on DJ Khaled's album, We The Best, released in 2007. That was a very dope song. It had Akon and The Hook and had some other rappers on it like T.I. and Rick Ross and Birdman and Lil Wayne. And I think Fat Joe was on it as well. So, yeah, We Taken Over was a dope one. I really enjoyed that one a lot. That was an awesome song that Akon was featured in. And another Akon song that he was featured in... Akon was featuring a lot of songs, guys, so it's going to be hard to think, but yeah, another good one that I like Akon in, shit, guys, hold on, I don't even know, sorry, y'all, but yeah, Akon, though, he's just a phenomenal artist, whether it be his singing, songwriting, producing, he's very talented at everything he does, and I think he's one of the best singers of the 2000s, and I don't think Akon's music should ever be forgotten, because He's that good of an artist. So, yeah. I apologize, y'all, if I can't think of many other clap songs that Akon was in. It's just, I listen to different music from Akon and, of course, many other music artists. So, yeah, guys, I'm just going to leave my part here. And, yeah, thanks, Spirit Dude, for having me on the channel. And I'm out, guys. Take care. Peace. So when it comes to Akon, I think he's a really good artist, and I definitely am a fan of him. He's very talented. I think he's definitely one of the best people that sings on like choruses, not only on his own songs, but for rap songs. He's really good at rap hooks, and definitely a really good artist. Some of the songs I like by Akon, the Locked Up remix he did with Styles P was really dope. That's an iconic song. Very distinctive beat, very good singing. Very good rap verse from Styles P. That's a great song. I also like the song he did, Lonely. That's a good emotional type track he did. Pretty good singing in that one. And uh, good chorus as well. My favorite song by Akon, though, would definitely have to be Ghetto. I think that's the best song he made. I love that song the most. The production, the lyrics, the chorus, the overall feel of the song, Akon singing. That's a, a fantastic song. Easily my all-time favorite Akon song. Love Ghetto. I also think the song he did that was originally supposed to have Eminem on it called Celebrity with uh, Lloyd Banks. That's a really good song too. Dope beat. Akon has a great chorus on there. Lloyd Banks did a good job rapping on there. There's like a fan-made version with Eminem's verse put back in there. I wish that was the one we got because it, it fits so well. That was technically the second song that Akon and Eminem did. Another good song with Akon is Smack That with Eminem. Iconic song, great beat, produced by Eminem, great rapping from Eminem, awesome verse from him, you know, great singing from Akon, good chorus from him. You know, that's a solid song too. It's great. I also liked how Akon had some associations with people like Lady Gaga and Jeffree Star. I thought that was pretty cool. It showed, I feel like, his diversity and flexibility because he was on Lady Gaga's song, Just Dance. He was really good on that song, and I like that song as well. It's a great song. It's very catchy and has good production and lyrics. 
He was also involved with Jeffree Star for a minute, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I think Akon overall um, is a very talented artist, and I do like him. He's a great singer. He has great lyrics. He makes great music. He's good with features. He's especially good on rap choruses. Another, some other good songs by Akon. I also like uh, "That's Right" with Three Six Mafia. That's a dope ass song. That is an awesome song. Very awesome, catchy chorus. Great Three Six Mafia song. That's a dope song. I like "That's Right." Awesome beat. That's a that's a solid track. Another song I like from Akon is uh, Dangerous. I remember that being on the TV back in the day, whatever music channel it was. That's a, another solid song from Akon. I like that one as well. And then I think he was on the song 9mm with uh, Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne and David Banner. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was on that song. That's another good song too. That's a really good collaboration song. Yeah, he was on that one. And he was also on the remix of that song with forgot his name but it's like a song with t-pain called uh, who the fuck is that that's a pretty good song too so yeah that's my thoughts at akon he's awesome and uh i definitely do like him but that's it for my part thanks to spear dude 21 for having me a part of this collab it's cool to work with him once again as well as working with sonya and working with bud dean 14 but that's it for my part peace out so what are my thoughts on akon i think he's a really good singer um, my favorite song by him is Like that, they won't let me out They won't let me out, no <laughs> And, um, Lonnie I'm still Lonnie I am the body On my own <laughs> So yeah, those are a few favorite songs by him That, that I like I like to, I like to, I like to, I like to I like to introduce myself. I like to introduce myself. I like to introduce myself. Hey, yo, spark up the Phillies and pass the stout. Make it quick, money grip, pull your asses out. In a street brawl, I strike men quicker than.